exactly what I realized today, that it comes exactly at the right distance from Jupiter for Jupiter's gravity to dominate. So if it wants to release some probes near Jupiter, that's where it needs to be. We are now on the verge of witnessing one of the most extreme and unexpected mysteries of the interstellar object 3I Atlas, an anomaly that has truly stunned scientists. Until recently, NASA explained that 3I Atlas was nothing more than a normal comet drifting through space. But new calculations have started to challenge that claim. The latest analysis of its trajectory shows that 3I Atlas is now moving directly into the gravitational influence of Jupiter, with such incredible precision that it doesn't look accidental at all. The alignment of its path around Jupiter is so accurate and finely tuned that many scientists believe such a maneuver is far more consistent with a carefully designed spacecraft than with a natural comet. In other words, if these numbers are correct, this object might not just be following gravity, it may have been guided. Well, let me tell you what actually happened. As we already know, 3I Atlas experienced an unexpected non-gravitational acceleration when it passed close to the Sun. In other words, it suddenly got a small push that slightly changed its trajectory. But here's the strange part. Scientists still don't know what caused that push. According to Harvard University professor Avi Loeb, there is no clear explanation yet. And surprisingly, according to a new calculation, that little push has nudged 3I Atlas's path just enough so that on March 16, 2026, it will come incredibly close to a special boundary around Jupiter. This boundary, called the Hill Sphere, is the exact zone where any object that isn't fast enough to escape will start feeling Jupiter's pull and could even be captured by it. Now comes the most astonishing part. According to Avi Loeb's calculations, on that specific date, 3I Atlas will pass at about 53.445 million kilometers from Jupiter, and that distance is almost exactly the same as Jupiter's hill radius, which he estimates to be 53.50 million kilometers. The difference is incredibly tiny, just 0.06 million kilometers. In simple terms, 3I Atlas is heading almost perfectly towards the outer edge of the region where Jupiter's gravity starts to take control. In other words, 3I Atlas is not just passing by Jupiter. It is aiming with precision for the very edge of the gravitational trap where Jupiter can hold things captive. And this level of accuracy is extremely unusual for a normal comet. Loeb argues this is not likely to be a coincidence. He says the non-gravitational acceleration measured is just right to steer this object so it just touches that critical radius. If 3I Atlas were purely a random comet, why would it do that? Scientists claim that the probability of a typical comet ending up on such a precisely aligned path near Jupiter is only 1 in 26,000, based on Jupiter's entire orbit. That means it is not impossible, but it is highly unlikely for a natural object. Well, I guess after seeing this amazing alignment, NASA will simply say, it's just another coincidence, a normal comet doing strange things. But some scientists disagree. They believe that this rare and precise path near Jupiter is not something we should ignore. It strongly hints that something unusual could be happening. You might be thinking, it's just a close flyby of 3I Atlas near Jupiter. The object is moving at very high speed, so it will easily escape Jupiter's gravity and won't get captured inside the Hill Sphere. Well, that sounds reasonable, but then comes the real question. Why is 3I Atlas heading almost exactly through the outer edge of Jupiter's Hill Sphere in the first place? This is where Avi Loeb gives a truly shocking possibility about the purpose of 3I Atlas passing through that precise zone. He asks a bold question. What if 3I Atlas is not a natural comet at all, but a spacecraft? If this possibility is taken seriously, then all the strange anomalies we have seen so far might not be random accidents. Instead, they could be evidence that this object has a specific purpose connected to Jupiter. Loeb suggests that during its journey, 3I Atlas might be using its jets. 
not as normal cometary outgassing, but as thrusters, guiding itself with remarkable accuracy toward a precise point near Jupiter. He points to images showing multiple jets on 3I Atlas after its closest approach to the Sun. Those jets could be thrusters carefully used to fine-tune its trajectory. The best time to do this would be near perihelion anyway, because that's when a craft could use the sun's gravity to its advantage. Avi Loeb suggests that if 3I Atlas is carrying mini-probes or some kind of devices, they could be released right at the edge of Jupiter's hill sphere. At that point, those objects would only need to fire their engines to cancel their high relative speed, which is about 65.9 kilometers per second. By reducing their speed, the released probes could almost become stationary, making it easier for Jupiter's gravity to pull them in and possibly capture them. Meanwhile, the main body of 3I Atlas would continue its journey and fly past Jupiter escaping the hill sphere. Because at that exact boundary, Jupiter's escape velocity is surprisingly low, only about 2.2 kilometers per second. In other words, it's not too hard for a sufficiently advanced probe to drop something into Jupiter's orbit if it's designed for that. And finally, what I realized today that it comes exactly at the right distance from Jupiter for Jupiter's gravity to dominate. So if it wants to release some probes near Jupiter, that's where it needs to be. And uh, just think about the fact that humanity, the human species, emerged on Earth only over the past few million years. Uh, whereas this object probably started its journey billions of years ago. So Jupiter is easy to recognize, the biggest planet in the solar system, and perhaps that's what attracted their visit. Um, mm. We tend to think that it's all about us. Well, Loeb also suggested that if 3I Atlas drops small probes or anything near Jupiter, we might be able to detect them. He points to NASA's Juno mission, which is already orbiting Jupiter or other spacecraft. Maybe they'll spot unusual satellites or objects that weren't put there by us. That would be a smoking gun. Well, some other scientists also believe that 3I Atlas could be an alien probe. In an interview, Dr. Mikio Kaku also mentioned that there is a real possibility that 3I Atlas could do something unusual during its close approach to Jupiter. Well, you know what they say, if it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, <laughs> maybe it is a duck. Well, this is a duck that is rather strange. It has a slightly different chemical composition. Its trajectory is not quite the usual trajectory of a comet, and it could be breaking up, we're not sure. And so some people say that, well, maybe the aliens are simply holding off for a while, and then they're going to show fireworks later in the future. That cannot be ruled out totally. Astronomers around the world are now tracking this object through their powerful telescopes and are revealing new data that is slowly giving more clues about its nature and composition. Recently, NASA released the most awaited image of 3I Atlas captured by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. But according to NASA, every anomaly seen so far is still considered natural, and in their view, 3I Atlas is simply a comet just a stranger and more unusual one compared to the others we know. For now, the mystery of 3I Atlas remains unsolved. Future observations will be crucial. The more data we collect, the closer we may get to understanding what this object truly is. Until then, the world will be watching closely to see what 3I Atlas does when it finally makes its close approach to Jupiter.